It is both a privilege and a pleasure to stand before you today to speak on behalf of my Pacific brothers and sisters, but most especially the Micronesian cohort. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude for your presence here. These past four weeks um, marked a milestone for us individually and our respective organizations. We've gone through some heavy topics, triggering, triggering our own experiences um, for those of us who are survivors of domestic violence. But it only served to underscore the importance of us rallying together for this work. The topics we delved into have not been easy and all interlocked and cascading and gaining momentum into the next topic. It's quite ironic, really, how it mirrors the escalating nature of domestic violence. The realization that our work to debunk and unpack these ingrained societal myths um, in our respective countries is overwhelming because it means that we have to, be shake, we have to shake some core beliefs and going against powerful people Henceforth, but we must have courage. Henceforth, um, training and workshops of this magnitude and the offsprings of this kind of training must go on. The value is limitless and the impact is immeasurable at the macro level and of course, for that individual woman and the children, child. I'm inspired by my colleagues, by Shamima, and the FWCC team, the key technical experts who came to share their knowledge. Thank you for hosting us, and thank you for being here tonight. Sorry. We hope to do justice to the work that has already been achieved. that has already been achieved by the many giants before us. Um, but we must go home and take these challenges with heart. So, without further ado, I'll just say that um, please consider us when you're engaging in the Pacific regarding issues of elimination of domestic violence. Um, even in our micro stages, where the culture of silence is deafening at the cost of our own women and children. Thank you.